You know, Xiao has a really nice back. Thanks for follow. These are matters for a dip dive. Stay out of my way. The mask looks so fierce, but when he takes it off, he, he actually has quite a cute face. They make him look so badass, honestly. All the teleportation stuff especially is really cool. And his voice is really fitting. That is cinematic. <laughs> okay, that was oozing with coolness. Another character demo and another top notch one at that. These are basically mini movies. These are the definitions of like an actual trailer, which by the way, do you guys realize that Genshin Impact does better character demos slash teasers slash trailers than actual movies in movie theaters? Like their editors, not only do they sync the music correctly, not only do they pick the right, right moments, like what they put together is just masterful. It blows my mind that like we have actual movies, like their trailers play and I'm not excited at all because it just you're showing off the wrong things. It blows my mind that Genshin Impact just understands so much about what to show off to get someone to be interested. The choreography, of course, is amazing. And another thing, again, like for them to show Zhao's burden of being a Demon Slayer and everything that he's gone through, it's such a short clip, but you can understand. Well, you get a glimpse of what he's gone through. But you can understand where he's coming from and how like his personality and how he treats you makes perfect sense after you watch a trailer like like this it's it's hinted in the story itself but yeah of course it's not a character demo without showing how badass he is in, in combat and of course his ability to generate the lift to drop down and deal the damage it's also it's all just really cool It's crazy though, like he looks really fierce with the mask on, but with it off. He has such a cute face. <laughs> Alright, we're not done. That's only part one. Let's do part two, which is to collect the miscal uh miscellany. Miscal I can't speak English. Many fell in the Archon War. But though their life force faded, their power and malice survived as remnants, posing a continued threat to the world. In Liyue. The task of ending this threat, or rather, enduring it, falls to Xiao. His chump. To most in Liyue, Xiao is a name seldom heard, and as the few who have seen him can attest, he appears only when grave danger is nigh. Coming across this Adeptus, should one count their blessings or their curses? Conquering demons is what I do. I actually love his voice. Hailed as the conqueror of demons, Shao's abilities are unparalleled among the Adepti. As such, he vanquishes demons without breaking a sweat. Shao is agile. His movement skills allow him to dart around the battlefield. And when he dons the mask of the Yaksha, his abilities are enhanced even further as he purges evil and protects Wow, evil. what the frig? After years of honing his ability, his ascent of the sun is so fast. An adeptus art that affords him strength at high altitudes. When Shao is in the party, the active character consumes less stamina while climbing. That's helpful. 
Shao's normal attack Safe can time. combo up to six strikes, dealing physical damage to enemies. Holding the attack button causes Shao to consume stamina and perform an upward thrust, dealing Whoa. physical damage and lifting enemies into the air. While airborne, press attack to perform a plunging attack. Striking enemies on the way down. That's a combo and then. AOE damage upon landing. This is like a fighting game now. <laughs> Xiao will not lose HP from a plunging attack, no matter how high he starts. Yep. Use Xiao's elemental skill to lunge forward, dealing animo damage to enemies in his path. Make adept use of this skill to dart effortlessly around the battlefield, dealing damage while tactically adjusting your position. Yep. Also, Lemniscatic Wind Cycling can be used while airborne, Air making it easy for Xiao to navigate challenging terrain, aiding with exploration. He can use it twice too, jeez. Lemniscatic Wind Cycling starts with two charges available. After unlocking the talent Dissolution Eon Heaven Fall, if Xiao uses multiple charges in quick succession, damage dealt increases with each one. Wow. Evil conquering. He's gonna be so fun to play. When the Xiao movement aspects are awesome. Elemental burst, he dons the Yaksha's mask that once struck fear into gods and demons alike. His attacks now deal animo damage, which cannot be overridden by another elemental infusion. Oh! And Xiao's attack AoE and damage are both increased. In addition, Xiao's jumping ability is greatly enhanced. Yeah, his ascent is so fast. With plunging attacks. The Yaksha's mask you can just spam essentially power, area effect but damage. Also great suffering. During Xiao's elemental burst, he will continually lose HP. This effect stops if he leaves the field. After unlocking the talent Conqueror of Evil, Tamer of Demons, while Bane of All Evil Look is at that, active, it's constantly causing Xiao's stuns. damage gradually increases. When Xiao goes into battle, danger follows in his wake. To avoid harming others, he acts quickly, completing the task at hand as efficiently as possible. As the fight begins, Xiao uses his elemental skill to move rapidly around the battlefield, changing strategic positions, dealing damage as he goes, and building up energy. When his energy is full, he unleashes his elemental burst and harnesses the power of the Yaksha's mask to incapacitate <laughs> the enemy with plunging attacks. And finish off the plunging attack one. spam though just looks a bit silly after a while. It was cool first time, but millennia, it's looking sillier and sillier. The have been told in Liu. But over time, whoa, these defenders of the masses have all but disappeared. Only Xiao still honors his contract with the Geo Archon by performing the duties assigned to him, though the cost of this duty is perpetual solitude. I know that Adepti suffer heartache just as I do, but I cannot know Xiao's future. Will Xiao be ravaged by the unending war he wages and be plunged into despair? Or will he meet someone who understands his sacrifice and can shine a ray of light into his dark world? They're playing with our heartstrings, chat. You know what they just did, right? They ended off with, will he meet someone to essentially save him from this? The best sales pitches, by the way, are ones that don't feel like a sales pitch. They just convince you that this is the right thing to do. And yeah, that's why I think Genshin Impact is just really good with these trailers. They give you the story, they give you the gameplay, and at the end of the day, they hook you. But they don't hook you just on like what this character is capable of. They hook you on the character's character, the personality. This is another one of those characters. I was straight up with you guys. I was not interested in Zhao. And after going for Ganyu, I was just like, well, I'm going to be broke afterwards. So there's definitely no way. But this is after watching the playthrough, it's more and more tempting. And he's pretty cute. So I don't know. Make up my mind afterwards, I'll say. But yeah, the gameplay is especially really cool. His movement's really cool. And the, when you put on his mask and hit his acceleration changes as well, and the plunging attack spam. I mean, this still looks kind of silly after a while, but 
it's it's he's a really cool character really different from what i expected but yeah this is probably the most well built up character to date right because they've featured him for over like a month now before actually releasing him so yeah we'll see we'll see anyways let me know what you guys think overall i think he's just a really cool character